Jackson and welcome to Head Jam, the trivia quiz that this week will be focusing on music. Two teams will be going head to head in order to win one of our luxury music goodie bags and everyone wants one of those. First things first though, let's meet our teams. On my right we have Team Freddie, would you like to introduce yourselves? Hello, my name's Gary, I'm from Northamptonshire. My name's Tanisha and I'm from Nottingham. And my name's Andy and I'm from Norwich. And they're up against Team Bono. Hi, my name's Celestia, I'm from Lisbon. I'm Luke and I'm from Manchester. I'm Shiny and I'm from South London. <laughs> so, two worthy opponents, and now it's time for round one. <laughs> Round one is a true or false round. We have six categories for our contestants to choose from. It's no conferring, and Team Freddy, you are up first. So, Gary, would you like to pick your first category from these six? Rock, pop, R&B, rap, dance or country? Um, can I pick rock, please? Rock. Bon Jovi was in a band called Jesus' Army before he joined, before he formed Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi was in a band called Jesus' Army before he formed Bon Jovi. Um. True or false? True. It's false, I'm afraid. No. So we flip across to Team Bono. Would you, Selassie, like to choose one of those categories? I'd like to choose pop. Pop. Michael Jackson famously wore two white gloves during performances. True or false? False. That was indeed false. Correct. Crossing back over to Tanisha on Team Freddie. Would you like to choose one of your categories? Um, what music are you into? None of these are left. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll try and have a go at dance. Always the way, isn't it? Dance. <laughs> Bass Hunter is from Sweden. True or false? That's true, I think. It's true, and he was very naughty in the 2010 Big Brother, wasn't he? Playing footsie with Katya Ivanova when he actually had a girlfriend back at home. Right, let's go back across to Team Bono. Who um, would you like to choose? Which category would you like to choose from here, Luke? I'll have uh, R&B, please. R&B. Jason Derulo has had hits with the songs What You Say and Riding Soho. True or false? Uh, that's true. It's false. So, There's a little uh, bit of a Soho, so yes, uh, a bit of a red herring at the end there. It fooled uh, me okay. as well. <laughs> uh, crossing back to Team Freddy and Andy, um, which category would you like, rap or country? I'll go for rap, please. Rap. Last year's X Factor contestant Cher Lloyd has signed a music contract with Jay-Z. True or false? False. No, it's true. She'd been signed to the label Rock Nation. She felt stifled by Simon Cowell. <laughs> Perish the thought. Team Bono, that leaves you with country, and that leaves Shani with this question. The country and Western singer Johnny Cash passed away in 2010. True or false? True. It's false. He passed away in 2003, only four months after his wife. So, that was a pretty successful round. You started scoring anyway, and Team Bono now are on one point, and Team Freddy are also on one point. <laughs> So, level pegging there, on to round two. <laughs> round two is a guess that tune round, and all our contestants have to do is identify the song that's being played. Simple enough, you might think, but unfortunately for them, we're going to be playing the song in reverse. You could try playing along with this one at home, and the first one goes to Team Freddy. You can confer. Let's play that tune. <laughs> Uh, that is Sex on Fire by Kings of Leon. All right, you're saying Sex on Fire by Kings of Leon for one point each. Let's listen and see if you're correct. <laughs> Sounds like you're absolutely correct. Just for fun, do you know which album it comes from? Mm, the one before last. <laughs> <laughs> Only by the Night album. Uh, here's your second reverse song. <laughs> We Will Rock You by Queen. Queen. Oh, Gary, you're on the ball today. <laughs> Let's listen and see if you're right. We will, we will rock you. Indeed, yeah. We Will Rock we You by Queen. Written by Brian May. Oh, and it's now a hit West End musical, of course, <laughs> and very popular too. Team Bono, right, you've got a bit of, uh, bit of catching up to do here. Let's hear your first reverse revelry. <laughs> You're looking very confident there. Very confident. What's your answer? Um, Nelly, hot in here. Let's see if you're right. <laughs> Ab 
absolutely spot on. Do you like that sort of music? That yeah, genre? Yeah, what, what, <laughs> different than country. Okay, well, yeah, exactly. What sort of genres are you into, Shani? All of them, to be honest. Okay. Bit of, so let's hope that you'll be good at this one. Let's play your second and final mashed up clip. <laughs> Oh, what's the song? What's the song? Oh, um, we're gonna go artist gorillas. I'm not sure of the song title. Okay, I can throw that one across to Team Freddy. Would you like to have a stab at the song title? Clint Eastwood. Um, I'm not sure if we can give you that one. It's wrong, I'm afraid. No, you were very close. Let's listen to the clip and you'll see that you did actually get the artist right, gorillas, so you do get a point for that. But the title is Dirty Harry. You were so Aww. close. Yeah, Dirty Harry, the third single from the album Demon Days. But very well done, both of you. And we have the scores at the end of the second round. And the scores are Team Freddy, Killer Queens on five, and Team Bono, four. <laughs> well, now then, to round three. Round three is a very clever round. It's the picture round. We like this one. The object of the game is to guess the artist and the song title from the pictures shown on the screen. So here's an example of one we prepared a little earlier on in true Blue Peter style. You can see a man shivering away there, very cold. We've got the play button from uh, a, a CD, well, from a CD recorder, from an MP3 player. So cold play and the song title, Clocks. It's as simple as that. Well, it is if you have the answers like I do. Mm -hmm. Team Freddy, as always, you are up first. It's one point for the correct artist and one point for the correct song. So let's bring up your first set of pictures and away we go. Who is the artist there? Uh, Justin Timberlake, Cry Me a River. Goodness me, right off the mark there. <laughs> Absolutely right, from 2009, Justin Timberlake, Cry Me a River. Uh, here's your second picture. Oh, oh Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> It's not very aesthetically pleasing, is it? <laughs> uh, black Eyed Peas, Where Is The Love? Oh, and spot on again. Black Eyed Peas, Where Is The Love? Look at that shiner with a pile mm. of peas. <laughs> and uh, well, a little chap there looking, obviously, for love. Well done, very well done to Team Freddy. On to Team Bono. And here's the first of your pictures. Who's the artist there? And can you guess the song title? Probably easier to guess the song title first Oasis. and then go work backwards. Uh, champagne. Uh, it's Oasis and it's Champagne Supernova. Oh, it is indeed. Written by guitarist Ooh. Noel Gallagher. Look at that, Champagne. See, I got the Champagne Supernova first. I had to work backwards. Uh, and here's your second and final picture, or set of pictures, should I say. Uh, you've got a selection of... Uh, few things top left. Yeah. I nearly gave yeah. it away then. Yeah. Spice Girls. Uh, yeah. Spice Girls want to be. Yeah, I was going to say, you had a selection of spices yeah. top left. <laughs> <laughs> selection of things, of powders yeah. top left there. Yeah. Spice Girls want to be. That's fabulous. So actually both of you have got a, a total four out of four, the maximum that you could have scored for that round. So Team Freddy at the end of this round are now on nine and Team Bono are on eight. <laughs> And now it's on to the fourth and final round. <laughs> round four, then, is the quick-fire round. We have two minutes on the clock, and teams, you are going head-to-head, -head, so hands on those buzzers. But first of all, we need to know who's buzzing in, so we need to know what you sound like. Team Freddy, give us a guess. <laughs> Iconic. There'll be no flashing in the studio tonight. And Team Bono? It's a beautiful day. Loving the jazz hands. It is a beautiful day. Let's see if you can score some points. So, fingers on the buzzers. We have two minutes on the clock, starting now. You two performed the song The Saints Are Coming with which other rock band? No. Green Day. What is the name of the lead vocalist of Muse? Matt Bellamy. Correct, Gary, yes. Gareth Gates came second in which talent show in 2002? That would be Pop Idol. That's correct, Team Bono. Uh, which band had a number one hit in 2009 with Everybody in Love? 
Team that Bono. That would be uh, GLS. That's correct, Luke. I've interviewed them. Very nice boys. How many weeks was Rihanna's single Umbrella number one in the UK singles chart? Team Bono. Thirteen. Uh, it was ten. Sorry, Luke. Hey Ya was 2004 hit for which band? <laughs> Very excitable, Luke, for Team Bono on that one. Outcast, well done, Shani. Reginald Kenneth Dwight is the birth name of which pop star? Reginald <laughs> Kenneth Dwight. <laughs> Team Bono. Nelly. No! Oh. <laughs> Elton John. <laughs> but some people might call him a bit oh, yeah. of a Nelly. Um, which band beat X Factor winner Joe McEldry to get to Christmas number one in 2009? I can go up to Team Freddy. Direction. No, I'm afraid not. Rage Against the Machine. Oh. That'll teach you to buzz in early. The Berlin song Take My Breath Away featured in which Tom Cruise film? Ah. Team Freddy. Top Gun. That's correct, Gary. David Jones is the real name of which singer? No, it's gone. No, nope, David Bowie. Which 1971 song finally made number one in 2005 for five weeks following, following comic relief? Okay. Team Bono? Comic relief, uh, 1971 say, uh, song made it to number one in 2005. Yeah, I'm going to say Amarillo. <laughs> As I open my mouth, we heard the bong, and that signifies the end of the round, the end of the competition. I can take your answer, though. You're saying... Amarillo. Is this the way to Amarillo? Is correct, Luke. Very, very well done. And so that signals the end of the round and the end of the quiz. Let's take a check on those all-important scores. And I can see here that Team Freddy oh, are living on their own with 11. Oh. Team Bono have their dancing shoes on. They have 12 points. <laughs> so, Team Bono are the winners. <laughs> Team Bono, you will be going home with some fantastic luxury music goodie bags, including a state-of-the-art MP3 player and an album of your choice. I'm afraid, Team Freddy, you're going home empty-handed. That's all we have time, though, for tonight. We'll see you the same time next week for more random trivia on Head Jam. Team Freddy have been crazy little things called love. Team Bono have been children of the revolution. I've been dancing in the dark, Emma Jess. And that's it from us. Have a good night. Goodbye.